Hello again from my front porch. Uh, actually, I'm here, I guess it's a front porch, I don't know, of one of the Mercy facilities out here in West. I was gonna go to the, my own clinic up in Ankeny, but I'm here to get my COVID shot, my, my, my first uh, dose of the COVID vaccine. And um, I was gonna get it at mine in Ankeny, but it's a small little clinic and they get a small little uh, set of the doses and they didn't have enough uh, to be able to accommodate. So, so I'm going here now. Now, in a couple of weeks, actually less than that, uh, about a week and a half or about, here in Iowa, they are going to open it up so that anybody can sign up to get it. Uh, right now, you have to have an underlying condition and you can get in. Well, I'm a diagnosed diabetic, and so I can get in still right now with an underlying condition. And I decided, you know, I should probably do that while I can, while the, 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 the pool of people is smaller. Because once they open up to everybody, it's gonna be a lot harder to get in. And pretty soon it's gonna be required for you to be able to travel. And my job does require me to travel increasingly as we're picking that up. So I wanna make sure I have this done. And I just gotta look out for Lisa as well and others around me just to be responsible. So here I go to go take the shot. And now, now I've, a lot of people I know have had absolutely no reaction to it whatsoever. Unfortunately, Lisa did have some reaction. More importantly, my dad had a really severe reaction. Now his diabetes is way out of control too at times. So I'm hopeful that it's not a genetic thing. Here we go, we're gonna find out. So here's nice Christy. She's gonna actually do the shot, see, in the arm, but I'm not gonna actually show you doing the, or I'm not gonna show you the needle in the arm. <laughs> so here we go, see, it's, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't hurt at all. Well, she says she's gonna cause me as much pain as I deserve. That's what it is. That's it. Okay, you ready? Yeah, it's in right now, I can feel it, yeah, uh-huh. And oh, 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 the pain, the pain, oh, it hurts so bad, it hurts so bad. Oh, wait, she's done, oh. <laughs> so just like that, thank you, Christine. You're welcome. Now the 15 minute wait begins to see, you know, if I have a reaction. Okay, so the nice nurse, Christy, she, she sent me out, but of course I have to wait for my 15 minutes now. And so we'll wait. Now she did warn me that the arm that she put it in will probably get sore. And I actually can already still feel in my forearm. I can feel it kind of tightening up a little soreness, but I expected that. What I was saying before, my dad, uh, he actually had some pretty strong reactions to it. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping I don't have any actually, um, but hopefully they're not as bad as what he got. Um, but uh, my next appointment is scheduled for three weeks from now. So I got that set up uh, and they're very accommodating, very nice. It was very fast. Now, granted, I registered online uh, with through, through the, through the, the, clinic through, through Mercy Medical, uh, and uh, that, that expedited the process. I showed up, showed them my ID, showed them my insurance card, and poop, they put me right on through. And I, literally, I was only sitting in the waiting room maybe two minutes, uh, and then they called me in. So actually, they got me in ahead of where my appointment is because I got here early. So now the 15 minutes begins. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm still here and fully functional in 15 minutes. See you then. Okay, five minutes are up, and so far, uh, I've got uh, the sore arm, uh, which hasn't gotten any more sore. Uh, well, a little bit sore, but that's because I was holding my phone. See, to kill time, I've been playing Pokemon. So while there's no other change to me physically because of getting a vaccine, uh, I have in the meantime completed three Pokemon challenges, caught about half a dozen Pokemon, and defeated one grunt. Back to my games while I wait for the next 10 minutes. Just checking in, it's been now 10 minutes and Still no changes. Here's hoping the next five minutes are just as eventful uh, and maybe a little more productive than my Pokemon because I just messed up a 10 curveball in a row requirement. Darn. All right, and through the magic of television or recording, uh, my 15 minutes are now up. No other symptoms. In fact, my arm doesn't even feel as sore now as it did initially. That's died down. Uh, and I completed my nine curveball throws in a row on Pokemon and defeated a gym, too. Uh, uh, or, well, won a raid, technically. Uh, and so it's been a very successful time that I've been sitting here. <laughs> very productive. But anyway, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling no symptoms at all. In fact, even the soreness of the arm um, isn't, isn't, isn't a soreness, uh, isn't an issue at this point. We'll see how the day goes. But for now, for now, it's looking good. Well, it's been a couple of hours now since I got the, the shot in the arm. Uh, and uh, honestly, the, the, the soreness that I initially experienced in the arm, it's pretty much gone away. Now, I did, I did notice that my wrist, I, I felt, I felt it, it was like, it didn't, like my whole arm didn't hurt. 
it was like it was almost like it traced a vein <laughs> down my arm. But I, I noticed that 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 you know as I was moving my this that that it that you know that this went away. It, it didn't stay sore like it was. But I actually noticed it more in my wrist. I started to notice that it was kind of kind of feeling not like pain, but just just discomfort in my wrist for some reason. And only this arm, not this arm. So that that's why I kind of attribute it to the. To the injection and then I also noticed as I was driving that my shoulder uh, back behind you know my shoulder blade area back behind that that felt a little weird not not again not painful not not even stiff just it just felt uncomfortable just felt odd um, and then I did I, I, I made a stop at Target on, on my way back home and when I got out of the car to walk in because uh, I didn't park real close to the door or you know it's, oftentimes you can't and as I got out of the car to walk, I noticed that my joints, my, my knees and my hips and, and stuff, that they, they, they felt a little a little stiffer than I would have expected them to feel. I mean, obviously, you know, <laughs> some of that just comes with age. <laughs> but but more so than usual. <laughs> uh, but I mean, it wasn't like painful. It wasn't like debilitating. It was just like, oh, that's, that's you know, a little, little, little tightness there, but, um, you know, I mean, that worked itself out. I walked through the store and fine. And, you know, I, you know, my, my hands, my, 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 my knuckles initially, if I would, if one, you know, gripping stuff, you know, it's like, oh, that's a, it's a little, you know, it's a little, it was a little firm. Like, like I had to sort of stretch out the muscles again to, you know, get them, get them to work like that. Um, but, but then it's fine. So now here I am a couple hours later and I'm, I'm actually not feeling bad at all. I, you know, my, <clears throat> I, I've got a frog in my throat. I, I don't know if that has anything to do with the COVID vaccine stuff, or if it's just because the weather's all flaky and I don't have allergies, but I have very sensitive sinuses. I might as well have allergies because the sensitive sinuses react the same way. And so I know people who have allergies are having a lot of trouble right now. So it's no surprise that my sinuses would be giving me similar trouble. So I'm, I'm attributing the, the, the throat, the, 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 the frog in the throat to maybe some drainage, maybe some, some of the, the, the pressure from, from the seasonal weather change stuff. I don't know. Could be, could be COVID shot related. I don't know. But what I do know is this. The, uh, I've seen numerous reports that say if you had COVID already, if you already had the virus, whether you knew it or not, um, that the reactions to the vaccine, especially if you do the two shot thing, I got the Pfizer version, but if you, if you do the two shot uh, thing, the first shot, especially your reaction can be fairly strong, can be fairly severe um, or harsh if you already had COVID. And I, I was I, I, I'm, I was 99% sure that in the fall of 2019, I, I had struggled through something for about a month and a half that I was taking all kinds of over-the-counter cold medications and allergy stuff and, and drinking those emergency mixed drink, you know, the put the little packet in the water. I was drinking those like water. <laughs> And just, just, I felt like I was just barely maintaining. I was, I was feeling pretty miserable for, for a period of time there. And I was convinced that uh, I, I probably had this thing early on before it was even identified that's what it was. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't, I don't know. What, what I do know is I, I was a little concerned that if I had, how would, how would I react now? Jury's still out, probably. You know, it's only been a couple of hours. You never know what still might be in store for me. Uh, Lisa, when she got hers, she was initially not too bad, a little sore and stuff. But then uh, later in, uh, it actually might have even been the next day, uh, she started to feel some 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 chest pain, some 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 difficulty breathing, or at least not difficulty breathing, hurt breathing. Um, and so we wound up taking her to the ER uh, because it was it was it, it was so uh, such a concern. For her, and uh, and it turned out it was nothing. It was the the because they even did the cardiogram thing and all that kind of stuff. And uh, there's no, no no heart issue. There was nothing wrong with her lungs. It was just it was just a tightness. Just 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 kind of like I was feeling with the hands and with the with the arm and the maybe the joints. It's same kind of thing in the chest cavity area. It was just the muscles that were that were having some trouble. And so I don't know if I'll have something like that or not. But again, for her, it didn't. That didn't come on immediately. It was something that happened a little bit later. But for right now, <laughs> I'm doing okay. <laughs> so 
Uh, I, I am I am happy that I got it. Uh, I am pleased I got it. I'm happy that I got my my vaccination card, which. Uh, I, it, you see here, uh, edited a bit. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure how much. I mean, I, honestly, I wouldn't have cared really if you knew my birthday because I've talked about it plenty of times before here on the show. I just. I don't know about the lot number, especially. I don't. I don't know the significance of that or where that might. Cause so I thought that's eh, probably not a good thing to just put out there like that. But the rest of it. I mean, you know my name. <laughs> you know. You know the date today. I'm telling you when I got the shot and it was Pfizer. So it's so, so not a lot of surprises there. I do applaud the folks at Mercy One. They handled it very well, as, as I already said. Uh, it's very smooth, very easy. They were very friendly. Uh, it was it was a very positive experience. Uh, there was nothing wrong with it all. And now I, I can I can feel uh, feel like okay. Now I understand that having the vaccine does not mean that I that I'm immune from from catching COVID or of potentially being a uh, uh, an asymptomatic carrier of it. Uh, you know, I, I know I still have to be on my guard, but but knowing now that I've had the vaccination and then I'll be getting the, the second dose in three weeks, it does it does make me feel like I have done my part to make sure that those around me stay safe, even as I, I start ramping up doing more travel and things related to work that, you know, it, it at least reduces the risk doesn't eliminate it. I wouldn't even say necessarily minimizes it, but it reduces the risk uh, of me, you know, potentially creating issues for others. And that, for me, is the important thing. It's really not even about myself because I tend to be a generally healthy individual, and so um, I, I by and and we know that the overwhelming majority of the people who even contracted COVID, which actually is a small percentage of our population overall. But of those who contracted it, the overwhelming majority of them uh, recovered uh, without it, with, without incident. Uh, in fact, many of them didn't have anything even to recover from. And uh, you know, my gut tells me I probably would have been in that category if, if I would have had it. Maybe I did have it back in 2019, and that's why now I'm not showing a lot of symptom from the from the injection because I'm still kind of <laughs> at that point. But regardless. Uh, I, I am pleased that I did it. I, I am happy that, that, that I got the, got, got the one and, and I'll get the next one in three weeks. And, uh, and, and I can feel confident that when I'm around Lisa, when I'm around Sophia, when I'm around my parents uh, and uh, you know, others that, that, that you know, are in my life, that, that uh, I can feel a little more assured that I am not going to create an issue for them. So... I'm not going to tell you to go out and get the get the vaccine, the vaccination. Uh, if you want to, do it. If you don't want to, it's not my place to tell you that you should. But I would urge you to really consider why you oppose it, uh, why it's really why you stand against it, um, uh, and you know, let your conscience guide you accordingly. With that, I as I continue to live in good health, apparently, <laughs> we'll see y'all next time from my front porch.